boom, bam, back, pow, with another video. We're going to be talking about a stock that I'm looking to buy crazy heavy. I already own a little bit of it. They have a lot of news kind of bringing them down, price cuts, big news going on, lawsuits and so forth. But do we really believe this stock is going to go anywhere? Remember, buying in the pain is when you need to be buying, right? Again, on this financial advice, so we're talking about the stock of Disney, ticker symbol D-I-S. D-I-S. Remember, you got three more days to join the team. Elite year, elite or lifetime memberships. Only like two more memberships of this or lifetime. But you still got the elite buys and sells or core lessons. You got three more days and then it's going to be closed. I'll probably open it back up in like a month and all prices will be higher. So this be the lowest price you can get. Personal training. You have to email me. willknowledge77 at gmail.com. That's the only way to join personal training, by the way. So Disney. Disney did have earnings here, right? They beat on some metrics. They went down on some metrics. They got some news here as well. I don't need to prolong it. Make sure you guys get the video over 100 likes. This will be a stock that can really make me a lot of money, and I'm going to start building up. Well, I already started, but now I feel like Disney's about to have a bigger drop to the downside, to this green level and below, which I'll go over. And then we got a lot of upside on Disney. I have two price targets above us here, one at 130 and one at 170, but let's get into the news first. So, Citigroup, they did do price cuts. Now, price cuts, I don't really care really about price cuts. I want my own price cuts. But Citigroup dropped it from 125 to 120. From 125 to 120, not a big difference. They're still expecting an upside from where price is right now to about 38% on the upside, right? Easy. Disney's not going nowhere. Y'all know Disney biggest. They own a lot of stuff as well. Now, uh, Disney, the 20. The 20th Century Fox reportedly being sued by TSG Entertainment for breach of contracts. They slammed with lawsuits over millions of dollars withheld from Avatar uh, Financer. So they are going through some lawsuits. But guess what? That presents more pain. So I do believe Disney is going to go down here below 78. Around in the 70s is where Disney is going to go. Right. So that's where I believe. So I'll do like this. Here is where I believe Disney is going to be falling into. And this is where I plan on buying heavy so i'll put heavy buy right so this is long term holding past a year like try to treat it like a savings account per se below that 78 level so i'll just put 78 for here that's where i want disney to go below that's where i feel like disney is going to go now i already start the position okay right because at 86 is still a low price so I'm looking for another 10% negative drop on the downside, which so far it is happening. I wanted to wait to see what happened after earnings. Didn't We got like a little fake push and then it came right back down. Now my price targets on the higher side, these are both my 2025 price targets. I think we'll be well over uh, by these levels, but the first one is 130. And then the second one above us is about 170 that I'm looking for that higher side, right? Again, as you're scalping, as you're doing swings, you want to have some long terms as well. Um, ones, especially ones that have been beaten down, right? Disney from I think is all time highs, if I'm not mistaken. Disney from its all time highs to where we are now is down over 57 percent. That's usually when I like start to build positions is when they're beaten down over 50 percent, especially on a stock that you know is not going to go anywhere. That's just probably going to get better. Of course, they got lawsuits, but that's like shorter term type of turmoil. So I'm looking for that $78 level and below. So say we get an average of 75 or so up to about 130. That's 73% gain and up to 170 is about 126% gain. This is crazy gains, but there is also something else that we got to go over. If we can break, okay, very big if, but I know we can break it. It's kind of just when, if we can break $100, right, that is what I'm going to get also with my shares, I'm going to also get a call option, Leap, and that probably would do us over a 1,000% gainer to trade above 130 all the way up to 170. So I already have my shares down here, but I will wait right here also to get a um, heavy call option. So buy heavy calls because that's a major resistance level. If we break that, it will be to the moon from there. Now, I don't think we're going to break this $100 level maybe by the end of the year or next year. So I still got time for that to kind of unfold. But Disney is one I'm looking at to buy heavy, buying heavy call options once we break 100. Now, I think we'll be off to the moon there. I think it will have some significant upside. I know it's hard to try to buy stocks when they're painful, but that's you make the money on the buy, not the sell. Okay. You make the money on the buy because you should be buying on cheaper stocks. Any other stocks you guys want me to go over that's maybe been beaten down over 50% that you like long term, make sure you write it in the comment section down below. I'll check it out so we can source that info, okay? Make sure you watch the video for this one on TTO and NEO stock. 
Big short squeeze on uh, TTO. I'll update you guys on that one. Last day to join the team is the 18th. Remember, we have all threes available. And if you want to do by credit card or debit card, all you got to do is click join and then click this link right here. It, it says join by using credit card or debit card. That's a link you can click if you don't want to go through PayPal. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge, of course. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no circulation of buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in that next one. Bye.